His name is Thor, and he's back once again flexing his muscles and saving the world from evil. Thor The Dark World hits theaters this weekend. It is a sequel to both 2011's Thor and 2012 blockbuster The Avengers. Your movie friend Aaron Dicer joins us this morning, and uh, you said you were going to dress up as Thor. I forgot my hammer, so I just decided not to go with the, the oh. whole outfit. Uh, this is a fun <laughs> movie. You know, any weekend that a Marvel movie comes out is uh -huh. a good weekend. They're fun movies. We know you love the Avengers. I did love the Avengers, and I think they do a great job of kind of continuing that tone and that atmosphere here in Thor. So okay, it's, it's so really good. Tom Hiddleston steals the show. Um, as Loki, yeah. Thor's, how is that? Thor's brother. He, in fact, they actually went back and shot more scenes with him after they had wrapped the movie because he's so good in this. They love him uh, so much. He's, he's kind of uh, this mischievous, villainous kind of brother, mm -hmm. but it's really fun to see him on screen. Some of the biggest laughs in the movie, and there are a lot of laughs in this movie, it's very, very funny, uh, come from Tom Hiddleston. He's just, he's really, really good. Uh, did you see it in 3D? I did. I uh, saw it in 3D IMAX, in fact, and I think it's worthy of that big screen and kind of that big moment. And the 3D I don't think is necessary for this one, but I enjoy it more. Right. You know, it's, it's not one of those like, you know, like Gravity was right, where you, you have, have to, to see it in 3D it. Yeah. for the effect of it. But I, I, I always enjoy seeing the extra dimension, so. All right, so these Marvel movies all build on one another. Is it one that families can go see if they have not seen the first one? I think so. I think they do a good job of keeping these movies separate enough on their own that they're good movies by themselves and tying into the overall, you know, themes of what's going on with the other Marvel movies. I, I think they do a great job with that. Uh, having said that, I think it's better if you've seen the others. Yeah. You know, I think there are things you will catch and things you will enjoy right. if you've seen the others that maybe you know you wouldn't if you hadn't, but you'll still have a great time even if you had. Yeah, what's her name? I like her. Natalie Portman. Uh, Nana, yeah. yeah, she does. A, she does a great job in this. In fact, that's another great part about this movie. The cast in this movie is so deep and good. I mean, from the the smallest roles, there's a guy named Chris O'Dowd, uh, O'Dowd who plays a, a guy trying to date Natalie Portman, and he's uh -huh. hilarious in this. And it's just from those small roles to the large roles, everybody's really on their game in this. Everyone would truly want to date her. She's so darn cute. <laughs> um, okay, so best thing, worst thing. And final grade? Sure, the best thing is the humor. Uh, as I mentioned, I really think it's funny, it's great. Uh, the worst thing, we didn't really talk about this, the plot does have some coincidence in it. In other words, these movies, a lot of times, they have plot convenience where, well, that just happened because it had to for the plot to happen. That does happen in this. Uh, can be a little distracting, but it's easy to get through. Overall, I'd still say like a B plus. A B plus, yeah, very good. good. Stuff. Kids, yes, no, maybe so? Uh, it's easy, compare it to the others. If you'd let your kids see right. the Avengers, let them see this. They're okay. very, very similar. All right, cool, movie number two. My dear son, uh, there's this family secret. And the secret is that the men in the family can travel in time. Well, hmm, last week it was time traveling turkeys. This week it's a romantic it comedy with time travel. One man finds out that he has the ability to time travel. From there, his life really begins. So tell us more about about time. There's a scene. About, in, about time. There's a scene in Looper, which is another time travel movie, where mm -hmm. Bruce Willis says, "Do you really want me to sit here and diagram the time travel with straws?" As a way to say, let's not really think about this. The problem is, I actually do want you to diagram the time travel with straws. I want it to make sense. Yeah. And that's my hard thing with time travel movies, is often they don't make sense. The time travel in this doesn't make sense, but here's the good news. The relationship stuff, uh -huh. the messages in this movie, the heart of this movie is great. Uh, so, he's turning all sentimental well, here. No, but I love that. The, uh, you, know, you see them on screen right now, their chemistry. I think that's uh, Brendan Gleeson's son, uh -huh. Adam Hole, I think is his name, uh, and Rachel McAdams. Their chemistry is great, and the chemistry between him and his father yeah. is really touching and, and really, really good. There's some really powerful scenes. Okay, so the father-son thing is, yeah, and Bill, is working for you regardless of the time absolutely. element. Absolutely, and a lot of that has to do with okay. Bill Nye, who is he, I think he may be one of our top five actors working today. He is incredible again in this. It's another amazing performance by him. You just buy everything that he does. Um, you seem awfully excited about it. Awards time, yes, no? You know, I, I am excited about it because That's I enjoyed that story. heart. Now, I do have to say, I was distracted a lot of the movie because the time travel stuff doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And I need it kind of to make sense or I just lose my grip on the movie. So right. there is that part of it. Awards time, I don't think you're going to see this one. There are just too many others that kind of go <laughs> above it. You may see Bill Nighy. He's kind of a, a staple in you know award season. I don't think you're really going to see much from this one awards wise otherwise. Okay, so Richard Curtis, I guess he was known for four weddings and a funeral. Yep. Notting Hill, Love mm -hmm. Actually. I saw Love Actually. That one was good. You saw Love Actually actually? Yeah, I actually saw that one. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. I know. Surprising, right? Uh, he's pretty good though. Yeah, the the comedy, the drama that he's known for really kind of shine through here. Those are the good parts of this one. Okay, so give us then your best thing, worst thing, final grade. Sure, yeah, best thing uh, is Bill Nighy. Uh, as I raved on and on about him, I think he's amazing and he does a great job in this. Worst thing, the time travel. It's just so distracting to me. Uh, and overall, I would give it a B. B. Yep. 
So the other one was a B plus. Yeah, I'd say Thor is your first choice this weekend. Although there are great movies coming out this weekend. Twelve Years a Slave came out locally this weekend. Mm -hmm. Another one that you're going to see around Oscar time. There's another one with uh, Robert Redford called All Is Lost yep. that you're going to see around awards time. So I there's like a lot it. of those awards movies coming out that you may want to check out. Very good. Yep. It's because we're getting close to Christmas. That is the Just truth. another sign. Yep. All right. Thanks, Aaron, your movie friend. More warm temps are headed your way. We'll have one last look at your weekend forecast. Stay with us.